Hi guys, this is Joshua from Futuremorphs. Uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, in this video I will show you how I uh, set up my uh, baby corn snakes. Um, uh, first of course they hatch in the incubator. Like this. The, these are uh, hatching as we speak. Uh, then they go to, uh, they stay in the, uh, the same sized uh, tub uh, with different substrate you will see in a minute. Uh, and then you will see how I will set them up individually. Um, so if you have any questions about it, just let me know. I will answer everybody, of course. And uh, I hope you learned something today again. Thanks, guys. See you. Well, uh, this is just a little setup how I keep them uh, before their first shed. Uh, it's a big uh, Braaplast box, uh, three liter Braaplast. Uh, I have two uh, hides and water balls uh, all in one, so they can hide under there. Uh, but also drink from it and I keep them here all together this is a big clutch it was see uh, 18 uh, eggs so 80 babies will fit in here but it's quite crowded of course uh, I keep them until they are all shed um, from here uh, I will oh, I can show you maybe I can do it with one hand usually this it looks more subtle but it's not that bad look plop. I have a we call it a fauna box uh, you see them everywhere but it's quite a high one uh, but the good thing is they can't well sometimes they can climb out but they have to be really smart corn snakes um, I put them all in here as you see all oh look there's the rest of the big clutch um, because from here uh, let me just check if this is all empty yep um, Oh, by the way, I use uh, tear wool um, for the babies because it, it, it never molds or anything. Um, when I uh, put them in their tubs, uh, they are on uh, uh, wood chips. I, we say beukensnippers. Um, so it's a type of wood. Uh, I prefer this because if you feed like frozen pinkies, um, everything gets stuck, of course. But these are... Uh, this won't get stuck because it's more heavy, so if you have like a, a semi-wet pinky mouse and you put it in lichno cell and or in tear wool, everything will stick to it. So that's why I use the uh, wood chips. Um, but when they're in here, you can see, look, they can climb all they want. Oh, one smart one. So sometimes they manage to get out, but usually, uh, especially I'm here, so nothing will happen. But I can just look like this and say, oh, first I take the normal sun kist, all of them out, and I pop them and put them in tubs. Uh, and then I take the hippo sun kist, because as you can see, um, this is a different clutch, clutch number one. Uh, I do all the hippo sun kists first, so the, uh, the, and then the ghost sun kist. So uh, I go from the simplest morph to the nicest morph. So this is double uh, UK means wild kleur, so normal in Dutch. So first we have the normals, then the tesseras. So uh, this is clutch number three. So I will put them in here. Uh, so first the normal sun kist, and then all the hypo sun kists. Oh, another one almost escaped. But you can see how pretty they are. I like sun kist a lot, especially with hypo and amber and ghost and all sorts of cool stuff. So. Um, so this is how I uh, set them up, like uh, this is like the part 2 version. See you in part 3. And we're back again. Um, well, uh, I showed you clutch number uh, 3. So um, as you can see now, I first did all the sun kists. Uh, also, I do males first, then females of the same off. So sun kist male, 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 male. Uh, sun kist female, sun kist female, sun kist female. Hypo sunk is male, 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 females. So, um, yeah, that's just how I set them up. And uh, maybe you saw it already, but um, I do it like this. This is my setup. So just the wood shavings, the wood chips, uh, a disposable uh, small water bowl. Oh, well, it's a quite big, but uh, it's a low one because the, my tubs are low as well. Uh, and of course, a little sneaky. Say hello. Um, uh, also, you might have noticed, uh, I used to place the, uh, when they have fed on the boxes itself, now I do it on uh, the piece of paper which I write the, uh, all the info on. I, it's just, it's so simple guys, no high tech stuff here. Uh, just a piece of cardboard or thick paper, however you want to call it. Um, I just write with pen on it and with a piece of simple tape. I just put it over so it sort of 
water tight, but not really, but good enough if like a drop of water hits it. Uh, and I use a, a, just a permanent marker and I just uh, give a little uh, uh, dash like this when they have fed a frozen thawed pinky or I put an L from live if they have fed on a live pinky. So um, I, and I keep track until they've eaten at least six times. So I do one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth is a plus. So I know they have eaten more than five times. Uh, and that's more for me that's good enough so I know they can go to another home um, so yeah uh, basic uh, setup uh, also uh, uh, because people are going to ask anyway uh, they ask why would you put like a thick piece under here well if you make things yourself yeah sometimes it's a little loose they might not get out but they maybe will so uh, until they're a little bit bigger I put uh, just a little piece under there so it will get uh, pushed uh, to the top. Also, for really uh, uh, smart people who noticed, uh, this row is empty, this row is empty, and there are little black markers. That's because these are like, uh, can I show it like this? Like this. They uh, really have too much uh, area to play, so especially this one. Look. It's a baby corn snake will get out here. I used to use these rows and also put some paper on it but the ones with the marks I just don't use them anymore it's uh, it's eight spaces in this 100 space rack so yeah uh, I just uh, I don't want them to escape so uh, so in uh, this one rack it holds usually 100 up so like uh, now just uh, 92 um, and each rack uh, has its own thermostat I uh, my thermostat is set on 30 degrees Celsius and I keep it uh, that's like in the back I will show you as well Look, the sensor is all the way here in the back um, I don't use this stuff as well by the way I used to do it but it's just a hassle so I just leave it like this uh, so in the back of the top it's always 30 degrees Celsius uh, during the day and during the night um, so, well, not 30, it's, it, it differs between 29 and 30 because uh, when the thermostat, it's the Lucky Reptile uh, uh, 1, uh, how do you say it, Thermo Control 2 or 1, I don't know, the simple one, um, it goes to uh, up to 30, then it stops and it drops down to 29 and then it goes on again until 30. So the hotspot is between uh, 29 and 30 degrees and this room is about 25 degrees, so... Uh, during the day so that's the the cool side during the day and at night it gets probably 20 to 23 degrees or something on the cool end or like in the room temperature so that's not too bad they can handle it quite well um, I like the fact that they have heat uh, also uh, during the night because when they go to digest they have 24 hour heat so no uh, drops at night or anything like that so uh, and after you've done all that, uh, then you just go to clutch number four. Focus camera, focus. Um, yeah, this, uh, I can show you what it was. Um, uh, a Hypo Motley Head Scaleless Butter, possible lavender striped. I bred myself, so I know what it is. And uh, you can see it is a, a normal head scaleless question mark. I bought this as a, a normal head scaleless butter striped. Caramel, amelanistic and striped are proven. Um, scalus is not. This is the third year in a row. I put a visual scalus to it. I put two different head scalus to it. Uh, this year 14x and last year, I don't know, also 14, 15, 16 or 18, something like that. So never get a scalus. So this female will be sold. Uh, so if you want a normal head butter striped female, it's a nice one. It lays good eggs, but let me know. Uh, so that was just a shameless plug of me selling some adult snakes. Uh, so I will go continue with uh, the fourth clutch. And as you can see, I have some pieces to go. So uh, yeah, I think that was it. If I think of anything else, there will be a quick edit and another something. And otherwise, this might be the end of the video. And we will see you next time. Bye bye.